Monday. Yeah, we got a little rain going on. I was watching uh, Jay Leno's garage last night. He was showing off his uh, steam room. Yeah, I forgot to, uh, you know, uh, let me show you off my steam section in my garage. Here it is right here. We just plugged this up here for a few minutes. Turn that on. There's a heated coal in there. It'll heat up this water and circulate back through. We'll check back on that in a few minutes. He's perking up right now. All right, let me uh, get my rags in my pocket and see what else I can uh, get done on this thing out here. I think I'm ready to put the uh, grill on here. No, no. I've connected these uh, water lines up. I've got to have another water test. That's what I got to do. When it starts making that sound right there, then you know you can take her for a ride. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Jim, that cord is not going to be long enough, you know, it's just not going to be. That's a flat cord made to run right up under that uh, grill. And uh, sure enough, I'm going to have to move that socket up. Or... From the get-go, I can just put a longer cord on there. Debating on that, I do have some uh, extra cord. I'll have to cut a uh, drop cord into. The ground's missing off there, I see. That ain't no good. Decisions, decisions. I could have brought this shelf down lower. I don't want to. Uh, I want to have plenty of room there for uh, getting them leads on and off. The idea was to leave this cord on there, and you could, if you was to set it down lower. But I think what I'm going to do is. Uh, Put me a longer cord on there. I'm gonna get up there and do some ciphering and see how long I need that cord. But as soon as I get the hood on, I wanna run this down the back, on the back side, and maybe out this way. Maybe. And I need to put a warning label in there. Uh, let me go get that thing. Well, by my measurements here, that is two foot. Wire's got to go back two foot. And that's four foot from the back down. Little extra. So that makes six foot I need if it sets right here. I want it to set over this way. And 
I'm measuring six foot two. Maybe a little longer, I got a little slack there. All right. That may work. Unless I slide it over here where I want it and come down at an angle. I could raise that box up right there about eight inches or more. Well, I'm going to leave it on there. We will see. Got my tag maker over here. Now I just need somebody over here who knows how to work this thing. Cut it on. You gotta hook it up to the uh, cold water over there, you know, not the hot water under the sink. Uh, you know, I wish I hadn't claimed the shop out. I would have. Uh, You gotta let me know what you're doing. I had my hand off that thing. I would have seen uh, how much uh, this gauge goes up on. Uh, turn it down, turn it down, way down, turn it down. Splattering water all over the place. I'd like to see where. Uh, Five gallons went on this gauge. All right, I just got sprayed. That's the reason I didn't want to cut it on myself. I come over here and this thing be squirting water all over the shop. I don't know why we got this on there and it's leaking. Put that on there. We'll pull the uh, cord around there. I don't need a whole bunch, just a little in there get past that pump. You can turn it up a little bit now, you know. That should be plenty. Get it off? Yeah. All right. Get out of there. Get around. Go out right there. All right. I need more light. I can't see nothing. <laughs> I need to get this camera. There we go. Need one 
some snubs up. I don't know, I might get in. I gotta hook this back up because that's not kosher be dangling around. I gotta plug this plug up. I'm gonna have to get a line. I can't even Alright, keep it on. When I get this uh, mm -hmm. hood on the uh, grill, I mean, I'll stick this down in there so it won't be sticking out so much. I'll see if this leaks over here where I got it run back to each other. All I got to do is plug it up. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on? Somebody stepped on it. Uh, That's what it did to me. Get out of the water. Are we all kosher? We could need a uh, need a clamp right there. That was a little loose putting it on. Find the clamp. One clamp left. Oh, well we got one. Straight head. Might be a bit big. Yeah, I'm looking for the other handle and you know what it is. It's laying here somewhere. I was just using it. Which one was leaking? I never did see. Cool. It's clearly the bottom one, though. Scratch the paint up. Both will probably end up having to have one. I need that other screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and stick another one there on the top, too. They was tying it up. Which I can see the bottom one still leaking. Huh? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Yes, it is. Looking from where? It shouldn't be leaking at all. on the inside. Is that stuff leaking? No, it's just blowing in from the uh, outside in. A little, little bit. clamps ain't gonna clamp these? Only place it's leaking is right blowing in through these vents from the outside. Still leaking, ain't that a problem? Hmm. That's quarter inch clamps. Gonna need a smaller hose. Well, the problem is that's the same hose I got in there. It's not leaking in there. No. Turn it on. I can't. We're getting slutty down here. <laughs> These hoses in here are up flush. It didn't look like them was, but I guess they are. Yeah, they are. All right. Hmm. Oh, is that a leaker? That leaking so much. Let me bring it back a little. Uh, yeah, that's one thing. You had these clamps in here back a little bit. 
back about one rung of that uh, nipple. That shouldn't matter. Well, whatever. The only difference comes in. of where you clamp these. Yeah, right up close it ain't got the little ridges. Yeah. Where's the light? Let's get a light up in there. Yeah, I couldn't get no clamp on that one at all, but it's a nice uh, fit. And that one right there, boy, did I have trouble getting that one. This is a main concern. I can't have no leakage and put that way up on the top in there, you know what I mean? Well, them's fine in here. All right. Yeah. Let me run a few minutes and make sure. Now, well, out here too. All right, let's give it another thorough examination in a couple of minutes. Careful, don't get no paint on the toilet. <laughs> All right, I see spray going everywhere. Let me get out of here. And I smell it over here. The light's dead. That is a good light. That lasts a long time. It stayed down here in the shop a long time. You got to bring it in the house, though, to uh, charge it. Okay, she's been running about. Two hours. I think that's he. I think it's time to put on the grill. Hook up the light. Get a little drain going here. That's a much better hose. This is the oxygen hose. See if you can point that the other way, just for uh, may not stay. I've had it staying in one time. Now I need to lean this up about a two before, like I did last time. I want as much water out of there as possible, but you have to be careful here, you know. It will be a while. Meanwhile, we're in here uh, making up a warning sticker. Okay, we're applying the warning uh, label. Meanwhile, I'm setting up out here to get ready for the grill. Well, now you got me wanting the grill. Thanks a lot. 
Yeah, that do sound good. There you go, little fella. <laughs> Bench repair. Wedges. And now, we just come up with a brilliant plan here. Fast, quick, simple. Only thing with these is you gotta work for it to get them dang uh, staples out of there. Yeah. <laughs> and I need a carpenter pencil. There's one here somewhere. Now is this gonna reach? Yes, will. And here we got a ground too. Yeah, I've got to have the ground. I forgot about that. Need one more terminal. Got my splitters over here. I've got my masher over here. What I ain't got is no leg room. We gotta do something crazy. This ground will go right here. This baby on there. I was looking at these the other day. I don't like how they're made. These parts here is put down in there like a metal onto the other piece. I don't like that at all. Now I got to find the sockets. The missing ratchet is right here. And there went my extension. And again, that ain't enough for you. I don't know what will be. We'll go right in there. Uh, you're on camera, fool. Straighten up. All right, that's that for the bit. Now we got our neutral wire was holding me up on putting the box down. Good. Make sure that's unplugged. Oh yes, sir. Doing the neutral. That Brad gun, they may be too short. Yeah, well. That's the reason I was wanting to try out the other ones. I got the nails laying up where all we got to do is figure out how to put the nails in. Oh, you got nails in the other ones? Yeah. That's what I've been telling you. Now, that gentleman can be mounted down permanently. What do we do with the other one? Now that gentleman can be took back apart and put back in there correctly. Yeah. Getting ahead of myself. You gotta go through here, dummy. Where's the nail? I'm gonna try to figure out how to put nails in this thing that we just found. It seems to be working. This thing will focus. I'd like to make you pull this back to auto lock it, and that pushes this to the side, and you uh, just stick your nails down in here if I can get it in there. There you go. Then you release it like a semi automatic rifle, somewhere or another. I forgot how to do it. There it went. Okay. And that looked like about everything. Now all I gotta do is. Uh, 
I'll get a little clamp and put it on there and then put your hand behind here and hold it and clamp it and then stick it through right where your hand is. I know how to do it. Do it something like that. And of course we had to set this all up right here inside upside this uh, air compressor. Absolutely. Let me hold it. I'm just gonna put a single little clamp on it. Well, since I've got it so no one close, I see the air compressor ain't even on. I'll, uh, Trying to get it straight, you broke off edge, you know. Alright. Alright, one more down at the bottom. Alright, now you can use screws. But what I would do before I screw it down, I'd make another one over here first. Might as well. I got this, uh, I gotta straighten this down out here and put it on the other side. Huh? I had it going outward like an idiot. Oh my Anyway, I, let me get back to this thing. What? The camera's running. Yeah, what was I doing? I was running the wire in there correctly, that's what I was doing. You gotta go in there, like that. You gotta scoot all up in there, run it short. Put you on right there. I could've put a ground right here. That's where I should've put that ground. Yep. Speaking of ground, uh, I have no ground on this socket. There you go. Well, I can't have that. I do. It is connected to this, but uh, let me uh, let me put a ground on this thing. Let me find some wire. All right. Got my ground already in there leave about that much slack. <laughs> uh, man. I'll have to blow that out. I went back for the eye on all of them. The only problem is this is just a little bit small. It may uh, mess with me. All right, that's all grounded up. This should have been up under this wire. I just can't get nothing done. Damn. Now, I got all that redone again. I got to find my plate. And the plate can go on. Now, can I get a screwdriver in there? Okay. Now, this gentleman here can be plugged up. I want that in here or over there. I think I'll have it like this. Turn it around. That down in there a little more. Now for the hot wire. I think this is about probably where we want it. off here a little bit. OK. 
Okay. And now, I think that's it. Let's see how we're going to get this on. You know what? <laughs> Idiot. You gotta come way down here. More light. Got that through there. Got that through there. That appears to be what? There you go. Now I gotta go hunt down the little screws that go in the side right there. P2. Final screws going in. Mom is to the side there a little bit, ain't they? All right, let me fight this on. Gotta go on. Be a little crooked. There you go. Now all I need is to hunt down the other knob. Oh boy. Okay, I got a little skip mark on there. Okay. That's he. In fact, that knob needs to go in more than another. I'm not showing any water, but there's water in there enough to pump. Let's try out the light. There we go.
Now, uh, Jim has the great pleasure of making and taking all the videos from the very start to here on how to make a tick torch cooler on the cheap. Making up my in and out sticker. That's as good as them's gonna stick on that diamond plate. And yes, I could have milled a little place right there with the end mill. Ah, right, here I go. Got too many obstacles here. Obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that handle up above you. Yeah. A light. Good thing I went board short, huh? <laughs> Alright, now okay. here's the big question, is this cord going to uh, cooperate, let me see. Maybe it was off ball. because I didn't uh, come up here and go back two foot. So I had to slide it all the way to the back. It's not all the way to the back. Got no, about this much more. Alright, this is the first plug up, man. It will reach now. Even reach the bottom one if you ever wanted to do such a silly thing. Yay! Yeah. There we go. Now all I gotta do is uh, figure out how I'm gonna hook up my hoses here. I think they're not gonna be long enough. The little units were six and seven hundred dollars. The big units, I never did price none of them. Yeah, there's no telling what one that size is called. The only thing I got in this is the pump. And not too sure on the pump. Might have to update the pump. That'll be a good stretch out up there. <laughs> Got to look at Daddy's. Stuck way up there on the shelf. Why won't you open it? Can't do it at the same time. That's another one of them little uh, home lights off. I didn't even know that was up there. It's been up there so long, I don't remember. That is a uh, homeowner saw, but uh, it's pretty good. We got two of them, huh? Oh, yeah, hey. Somewhere. We're living. Sitting over at the front door. Oh, yeah. Daddy had one for years over there at uh, towards Lilburn on Kinsville. Yeah, well, that's bar and chain on there anyway. Looking for hose. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow.